Hello everyone, welcome to Edugain YouTube channel. Today let us learn about life process part 3 that is transportation in plants and animals. What do you mean by transportation? Transportation can be defined as the movement of any substance from one place to another. Water and nutrients required for all metabolic activities should be transported in the body of plants and animals. Transportation in animals take place through circulatory system which includes blood, blood vessels and heart. Blood is a fluid connective tissue consists of fluid medium called plasma. Functions of blood are to transport food, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogenous waste and salt. A pumping organ is necessary to push the blood around the body. And that pumping organ is called heart. Heart is a muscular pumping organ which pushes the blood around the body. Tubular structure through which carry blood to cells, tissues and organs are called as blood vessels. Two special blood vessels are arteries and veins. After reaching the organs, the arteries divide into small branches called as capillaries. Heart is another component of circulatory system which is also known as the pumping organ. Heart consists of four chambers separated by a partition to avoid mixing of oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. Blood transports carbon dioxide to the lungs for oxygen from the cells for removal and carries oxygen from the lungs to the heart and heart pumps the blood to all the cells of the body. Heart has different chambers called as right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle to prevent the mixing of oxygenated blood and carbon dioxide rich blood. The thin walled upper chamber left atrium relaxes and and oxygenated blood enters it. Deoxygenated blood from the body reaches the upper chamber, right atrium, when it expands. Separation of right and left side of heart allows efficient supply of oxygen to the blood and useful for animals that have high energy needs to maintain their body temperature. In some animals, body temperature depends on the temperature of the environment and thus they do not use energy to maintain body temperature. Amphibians and reptiles have three-chambered heart and also allows some mixing of oxygen. Fishes have two-chambered heart and the blood is pumped to the gills for the oxygenated and deoxygenated directly to all the cells of the body. When blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle, the process is called as double circulation. In fish, blood goes only once through the heart and thus fish shows single circulation. Now let's see what does blood vessel mean. Blood vessels are the tubular structure which carry the blood through cells, tissues and organs. Two types of blood vessels are arteries and veins which are connected to the heart for transporting blood. What are arteries? Arteries carry blood rich in oxygen from the heart to all the cells of the body. The pressure exerted by the arteries while blood leave heart is rapid and thus walls of arteries are thick. Veins Veins carry blood rich in carbon dioxide from all the cells of the body to the heart. The pressure exerted by the walls of the veins is less and have thin walls. Walls present in the veins ensure that the blood flows only towards the heart. Let us learn about platelets and limbs. Platelets are colorless tiny blood cells without nucleus circulate through the bloodstream. During injury, the bleeding needs to minimize naturally. That's why the platelets are supposed to be there in the blood. Leakage of blood can also reduce the efficiency of the pumping system due to the loss of pressure. Platelet cells are present in the body to plug the leak and to stop bleeding by clotting the blood at the points of injury. Platelet circulates around the body and clot the blood whenever necessary. Let's see what does lymph mean. Lymph is similar to blood plasma but colorless and contains less protein. Lymph drains into lymphatic capillaries which join to form large lymph vessels and which open into large veins. 
functions of lymph is to carry absorbed digested fat from the intestine and it also drains excess fluid from extracellular space back into the blood composition of lymph lymph consists of water solid the solid content found in the lymph are proteins fats carbohydrates and other constituents that is urea inorganic phosphorus calcium enzyme and antibodies functions of lymph it supplies nutrition and oxygen to those parts where blood cannot reach it drains away heavy excess tissue fluids lymph returns protein to the blood from the tissue spaces fats from the intestine are also absorbed through the lymph the lymphocytes and monocytes of lymph act as defensive cells of the body the cells lymph also removes bacteria from tissues now let's see transportation in plants soil is the natural and it is source of raw material for plants raw materials like nitrogen phosphorus and other minerals are absorbed by plants from soil by roots plants absorb water and minerals from soil by roots and transport to the leaves as the distance between roots and leaves is large diffusion is not sufficient to provide raw materials to leaves and energy to roots plants use slow transport system but large as required in tall plants to transport energy from leaves and raw materials from roots a group of special cells forming vascular tissue transport water and nutrients to all the cells of the plant there are two types of vascular tissues they are xylem and phloem xylem transport water and minerals obtained from the soil phloem transports products of photosynthesis from the leaves to other parts of the plant water which is lost through the stomata is replaced by water absorbed by the root evaporation of water from leaves creates a suction force which pulls water the loss of water in the form of water vapor is called transpiration importance of transpiration are it regulates uh, regulates temperature helps in absorption of water and upward movement of water and minerals the transport of soluble products of photosynthesis is known as translocation the substances are transported to the storage organs of roots fruits and seeds the translocation takes place in the sieve tubes with the help of adjacent companion cells the movement of substances is bidirectional that is both upward and downward energy from atp is utilized for translocation today we have learned about transportation in animals and transportation in plants in the next video we will learn about the last part of this chapter that is excretion so please do like and share this video and subscribe educate thank you for watching